I'll see you, Al. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., who was also a reverend, so you can throw that in there too. All I knew about Martin Luther King was he was a civil rights activist from the 60s who got gunned down by an assassin's bullet, some crazy racist southerner I assumed. I mean, I know the basic story, you know, he was a civil rights guy made that a famous speech. I have a dream that all men are created equal. I didn't find anything bad about him. He was a decent human being who fought for the rights of others. Fought for the rights of blacks to, to live equally among white people and not be treated like shit just for being black. I heard a fact, I don't know how true it is, but James Garner, the actor, was supposedly in the third row at the I Have a Dream speech. The man behind the bullet? The guy that shot Martin Luther King, why? See, he's the opposite of Martin Luther King. I couldn't find one decent thing about this guy. James Earl Ray. You know, at the time that he shot Martin Luther King, he was uh, an escaped convict and escaped from prison not that long ago. And just a few months before shooting him, he was down in Mexico passing himself off as a porn director. The story about him is a guy running for president at the time, Wallace, who was a huge racist, was going to become president and pardon him for this wonderful gift that he gave the world of killing the uh, civil rights leader Martin Luther King. Although after he shot him and killed him, he took off and was on the run for a while again and made it all the way to England on a fake passport. Can you believe that? Yeah, wasn't a huge manhunt, I guess, but. They did eventually catch him while he was trying to leave England and go to Zimbabwe because you know he thought he'd be welcomed in open arms there. He went to jail, obviously, and died in prison in 1998. But back in 1977 or so, he escaped briefly for about three days with a couple other inmates. Can you believe that? The guy was an escape artist too, apparently. Not right now. Now I'm going to pay Martin Luther King because he's a, he's a far more inspiring character who fought for equality, which black, white. Turquoise, there's no reason that people shouldn't be equal, especially now that we learned a damn thing, but no. And the 
chains of discrimination 100 years later. The paint is black, the canvas is white. Together we learn to read and write. Together we learn. stood for equality and equal rights among men, women, black, white, pink, turquoise, green, blue, yellow, all the colors of the rainbow. And today on Martin Luther King Day, we celebrate his memory. Remember all the good that he did. So in your face, James O'Reilly, the only thing you ever succeeded in was 
making his dream come true quicker. For a man who did very, very little good in his life, James Earl Ray, to the opposite, a man he killed who did nothing but good in his life, we salute you, or I salute you at least, Martin Luther King. It's good to know a lot more about you now, and I enjoyed painting your face. And I really like how you came out too, that's what's really good I think. It's one of my favorite ones. I don't have any, I'm satisfied with this one pretty much. I'm saluting a real human being here and what they did for history. I'm painting history. This has been Eddie Spaghetti and Painting History, Martin Luther King Day. We celebrate you, Martin Luther King. You were awesome. This is Eddie Spaghetti saying, peace out. And thank you, Lucky Stars, that you're free and not segregated. I do. Yeah.